As large as the recent oil spill that recently happened in the Gulf, I decided to take a look at a series that has a more environmentally friendly theme. The power is yours! No, 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 not that one, no, no. I'm actually talking about a series that stars a little purple alien from the Horsehead Nebula, I am totally not making that up, who can shapeshift into just about anything that has come to our planet to help us basically clean up the place because we're too stupid to do it. And just like Captain Planet, this too has an NES adaptation. I'm talking about Widget for the NES. I barely remember this show even existing as a child, let alone any episodes from it. I do remember the shape-shifting widget, and I do remember Mega Brain, which is basically like a little disembodied head at hand. I thought that was kind of neat. This game, however, uh... Folks, this is gonna hurt me, I tell you. Well, let me give you a few basic ideas first. What you'll notice is that this game follows the Mega Man X formula, as I call it, in that you have an introductory stage that you play through, then you can select a number of stages, each of which is revisitable, by the way, including the intro stage, until you go on to a final stage or two that will take you to the final confrontation with the big baddie of the game. Now, this game features a lot of different villains and bad guys from the cartoon series, some of which you might recognize if you're a fan of the cartoon. First off, I want to get this out of the way. Widget is slow. I mean, embarrassingly slow. I mean, he just sits there, walks across the screen with a little dumb smile on his face. <laughs> you jump with the A button, and he can fire his gun with the B button, but it only shoots one bullet at a time. Thankfully, whenever the bullet disappears from the screen, whether it hits an enemy, whether it goes off the screen, or whether it hits a wall or something, you can fire another one immediately. Which kind of makes it fun if you have a turbo controller and you're right next to an enemy. Makes most of the bosses a piece of cake, really. In addition, you can also have Widget transform, depending on what powers he has and how much MP he has. Yes, he uses magic points, which, okay, you gotta have some way of limiting his power, so that's fine. But most of his forms are practically useless. The only ones that I found any use for was Birdman Widget and Mouse Widget. And Dolphin Widget maybe once throughout the entire game, just to get through an area that I normally could not get through. And of course, you know, Widget has a maximum of five powers. You start off with a cannon, which basically is just him sitting there firing balls out of his mouth. He can jump, but that's about it. He can also gain the mouse power up after beating the first level, which allows him to run a little bit faster and fit into tight spaces. He can get Rock Golem whatever Widget, which allows him to bust down certain walls. He can also get Birdman Widget, which allows him to fly. And he can also get Dolphin Widget, which allows him to swim. If you submerge Widget in water without doing the Dolphin power-up, he's gonna take damage and then eventually die. It doesn't matter what form he's in. If it's not Dolphin, he's gonna drown. Now, you have some power-ups. You have stars, which increase your life or your MP, depending on the color. Red for HP, purple for MP. You can pick up MP orbs, which restores your MP. You can pick up hearts, which restores your health. And you can pick up gun icons, which increases one of your two gun meters at the bottom of the screen. There's not really too much of a difference that I've noticed as far as gun power goes, but supposedly there's supposed to be pretty big difference. And two of the major gun power-ups, you get one at the beginning and one at the end making that particular meter kind of pointless for the most part. And yes, there is a time limit. You have five minutes to get through any particular section. So once you get through one section, you hear the little <laughs> sound. You go to a new section, and it automatically resets to five minutes. And sometimes, if you decide you want to explore, you're going to be running out of time really, really fast. So not only do you not have a lot of time to dick around, you have to get through it in five minutes. And before getting the mouse power, Widget is slow as fuck. Ugh, even sometimes even going through, if you're unlucky and get hit by a lot of enemies, you're, you're gonna be pushing it for time. Alright, so how does this game hold up? Not very well, in my opinion. In fact, I think it's probably one of the worst games I have reviewed thus far. I mean, seriously, Widget is slow as fuck. You can only fire one bullet at a time. Of course, you can fire another bullet right after the other one disappears, which thus makes bosses really, really easy to beat if you have a turbo controller. That shouldn't be that easy. Ugh! Music and sound, eh, well, they're music and sound. They're nothing memorable. 
They're not horrible, but they're not, nothing memorable either. Graphics, okay, I will give them this. They're kind of colorful and pretty. But a pretty game does not a good game make, right? Overall, I say if you're a masochist or you love being tortured, play this game. Go for it, you know? It has uneven difficulty, at least I've noticed. And the only way you can get any kind of speed is transforming into a helpless animal. Yeah, that, 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 that works, yeah. Ugh. Most of Widget's powers I found are useless, so. So with that said, I'm Gomer, the ranting thespian. Stop right there! Wait, who are you? I have to keep my eye on you. Oh, great. I get a stalker. Yeah. It, it, that's just great, you know. Mars Girl gets rule 34 of her, you know, slash fiction of the angry video game nerd and the nostalgia critic. I get a stalker! Great. Can you at least tell me who you are? Very well. I shall reveal myself to you. You're Merrick. You're Merrick. I, I I saw it. I saw that episode. I read that story. You, you got your ass kicked by Yugi at Battle City, at the Battle Tower. It is true I suffered a horrible loss at Battle City, but now I'm back to take my revenge upon the world, starting with you. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Why are you? Why, why, why? Prepare yourself.